Welcome back on what is day two of our first winter storm of the winter season. So what you need to know is that near Lake Superior, we will continue with those strong winds. Not really going to expect that high accumulation of snow, but more of that rain and snow mixture near Lake Superior. Areas in the central and east farther away from the lake shoreline will have heavy snow throughout the morning hours before it transitions over to rain in the eastern counties of the UP. And that's why we still continue with some winter storm warnings for Berga and Marquette counties, advisories in the purple across the east, tan shaded colors, those are all wind advisories, and there's a lakeshore flood advisory for Ontonagon. You can see those winds gusting out over downtown Marquette, uh, moving our camera there just a little bit. Uh, so uh, large waves still going to be an impact near Lake Superior. You know, I shot this video right over at Presque Isle yesterday afternoon, and those waves were really high. You've got to really stay far away Away from the lake shoreline, you want to get some nice pictures, but you want to do so safely and stay out of the water. We're still going to have those strong winds today out of the north, gusting in excess of 40 to 45 miles per hour near Lake Superior to near 50 miles an hour. As we head towards the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, you can see those winds will weaken and we're looking at gusts by tomorrow morning to be around 30 miles per hour. So not too bad as compared to today. Another windy day on tap for us. We're still dealing with that wet, heavy, dense snow across the central and the eastern counties of the UP, extending even through parts of the northern lower. So if you're traveling across the Mackinac Bridge, I suggest you don't do it and you wait for a little bit, but if you are, do so with caution. Anywhere from US 41 to M28 to M35 on south to US 2 dealing with this wet, dense snow. As this area of low pressure slowly continues to lift north up, north and northeast up into parts of Quebec. Now it's also accompanied with this closed off area of low pressure that will also do the same thing, slowly ride on in up into Quebec as we head into tomorrow. Your impacts travel still at a moderate high risk for that dense heavy snow in the central and the eastern counties will still likely have some sporadic power outages from winds gusting in excess of 40 miles per hour but also look out for those isolated down tree branches maybe some trees as well or any toppled over loose items throughout your drive today Hour by hour, here it is. The central and the eastern counties, as I mentioned, throughout the morning will still have that wet, heavy, dense snow. With an increase in temperatures across the east, this transitions over to rain for the afternoon. And then we'll have more of a mixture into the evening hours. We'll still have some lingering light snow as we head into tomorrow, but things taper off rather nicely. And uh, finally, as far as additional snowfall amounts, three to six inches potentially in the higher elevations of western Marquette County, otherwise one to three inches in some of the eastern counties and then farther south in parts of southern Marquette County. Highs today, lower 30s along the Wisconsin state line. The shorelines, the Great Lakes hovering right around the 40 degree mark. As we head towards tomorrow, still going to be below normal into the 30s. We're looking at 50s by the end of the week. With